Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. Skyrocketing gas prices are hitting everyone where it hurts, and the bigger your tank, the harder the hit. And for farmers and equipment with 1,000 gallon tanks, those costs are astronomical. As Vanessa Yurkovich reports, some farmers are taking a gamble, hoping to balance out drastic prices and turn a profit. Every day, up to twice a day, like clockwork, Josh Everhart makes this trip, hauling corn and soy to the grain elevator in town. But the constant hauling of crops for his four trucks and record gas prices makes even the shortest journey feel like a slow burn. You don't want to see the bill. You don't. What does <laughs> you it look, look at like? it, you're like, oh no. <laughs> what is it looking like? Well, I mean, a thousand dollar or a thousand gallon tank is four thousand dollars. Gas prices hit a record last week, but are dropping slightly, yet still above $4 a gallon nationally and here in Indiana. Even steeper, diesel, which fills these tanks at nearly $5 a gallon. It's astronomical, but, but you know, it's part of doing business. Chris Everhart, Josh's father, says inflation has pushed prices up on just about everything on their farm, but commodity prices have risen too. This month, wheat rose to its highest price since 2008. I've never seen anything like this in the wheat market. For only the second time in 25 years, the Everhart family planted winter wheat, 165 acres of it, to try to capitalize on rising wheat prices. But it's a risky bet. That's fuel, seed, fertilizer, and labor. And Russia's invasion into Ukraine is only pushing prices higher. This is uncharted territory. For me. On Phil Ramsey's farm in Shelbyville, he says he's spending $500,000 more to plant his crops this year. How much does what is happening in Ukraine impact you here on the farm? I, I'm happy that the prices are going up. I am not happy about the situation because y y even though they're a competitor of ours, it's kind of like playing sports. You don't want to see somebody on the other team get hurt. And fertilizer has become their biggest expense because it's made from natural gas, which has also risen significantly. A key supplier, Russia, has stopped exporting it. How much more does it take to fill up those bins behind me this year compared to last year? Today's cost is $60,000 more per tank. I have four tanks. That's 240000 And those prices are much slower to come down compared to the volatile price of crops. We just lose money when that happens. It's only happened a few times in my farming career, but this one's totally different than any that I've been through in 43 years. 